Ho ho body, sponsor Borderline Games. I'm Gareth and today we're playing uh, Ghost Trick uh, Phantom Detective is what it's called. Um, and last time uh, we went to the uh, chicken kitchen and we found that um, it's another site where Lynn dies. She gets uh, f flattened by a big trick, uh, flattened by a big statue of a chicken leg. Um, is it that uh, fate has had it so that she has to die in order for things to progress? Or is something else happening? Is someone just trying to repeatedly kill her? Probably that one. Uh, anyway, we've gone up to the second floor, or the first floor if you're in this country, and uh, that I'm in, which is uh, England. Uh, we call the second floor the first floor. Crazy. What do we call the first floor? We call it the ground floor. Um, anyway. Uh, we are on the second floor, or the first floor, and now we're making our way over to the left to where a couple that seem to know all about the people in the prison and all the activities that they're doing that's supposed to be classified. They all know that stuff. We're going to try and get them, say hello to them. We're trying to say hello. We're big fans. Uh, okay, so we've got here a dispenser, a bell. Oh, I could ring three times, maybe. Well, let me do that. Oh, do I need to have a glass? Okay, I got it. Big time. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Maybe it is what I'm supposed to do? Oh, you just broke that glass. Just like my, uh, you did my art. A broken glass can never be put back the way it was. Just, uh, leave it there. You can't just leave it. Someone might get hurt. Hmm. Doesn't this trunk belong to that couple over there? Quick, 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 quick. Oh. The only things we allow customers to lose here are the cars. <laughs> I said couriers for a second. Miss, please go and let them know about the trunk. If you would be so kind. How gallant of you, I just might fall for you, you know. Or bit of the phone book. Quick, quick, quick. Odd girl. I agree. Me too. Trick time. So, do I need to... How do I get... But the glass not there. Can't go to dispense. That doesn't do anything. Uh, can't go to dispense. Well, goodbye. Oh, good. I've been working here for two days and I've had my eye on you the whole time. I think this might be my last night working here, though. It's been fun. <laughs> I guess she's leaving this place with her surprisingly short career intact. Uh, okay. Oh. Come on. Yes. Yes. Yes! Yes! Of all the things to forget, it would have been this... Uh, hang on. It wouldn't have been pretty if I forgot this. Can I go pick it up? Can I take it over there? <laughs> Look at that. I'm just doing that. That's funny, isn't it? All right, kaboom. Here we are, finally. I feel kind of bad about eave eavesdropping though. Not me. I mean, we just delivered the lost trunk to them after all. They owe us at least that much. What kind of detective says something like that? Fate changed. All right, so. Uh, I can get this to swing. Whee. Okay, can I get there? No. I can't believe I forgot the trunk of all things. With such a small body, you probably only have a small brain to match. Ouch, that hurts, beauty, but that's okay. That's what I love about you. That's what he loves about her? I don't get it either. Now, where were we? Oh, right. Who to invite to the wedding? 
if we got married, of, that is, of course, how creepy. We can talk about that when we're alone. Hmm, but aren't we alone now, beauty? Huh? You think she senses our presence again? Hmm. I spy a ladybug. A ladybug? I just hate little bugs. All right. Okay, we're in trouble now. What? After all that trouble, it happened anyway! It looks that way, yes. It's not over yet, though. It's not? What are you talking about? You're not dead yet. Uh, no, but I'm gonna be in just a few seconds. But before that happens, maybe there's something we can do from here. Hmm. Alright, so let's get this to swing. Uh, okay, so I'm on the chicken bone. Ah! Oh, go into his- oh, okay, cool. Hello? Hello? Looks like he's unconscious. Excuse me, could you wake up for a second, please? Well, she is ever this uh, detective. And one thing I've learned is that the newly dead stay unconscious for a little while at first. Huh? I was like that, and uh, you were like that too. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Anyway, if we restart the flow of time now, you'll die. Yeah, I know. Why don't we try going back even further in time? What? Even further? But how? Simple, we go back four minutes before the death of this poor driver here. You can do that! I never tried it before, so I don't uh, know how it'll go. But if we can erase the driver's death, that should erase your death too. Oh, wow. I can't think of any other way. Let's try it. Rewind time. Wow. A first for ghost trick. History. Hello. What the? That's Lynn, our rookie detective. What's she doing at Point X? Could it be just a coincidence? Oh, is this the guy that's normally at the police station? Yeah? Is that right? And we just got an APB on her a little while ago. Something about an extremely important case is extremely important witness. Currently extremely on the run. Now what? Should I report this to Inspector Carvanella? Oh, so it is him? Oh, okay. I'll just stroll over here to the van. I'll just chuck those in. Doesn't really matter where they go. Hmm. They told us to stay off the radio unless it was an emergency, but I think I'd better call this in. Call in. I wonder what she did this time. Inspector Carbonella is pretty protective when it comes to Lynn. He'd want to know. Oh. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. What's the matter? Alright, fine. Who was that? This is point X. Idiot. Alright. Yes, sir. I'll go get her. Hmm. The static is awful. Can't believe I forgot the trunk of all things. It's such a small body, you probably only have a small brain to match. Ouch, that hurts, Beauty. Well, that's okay. That's... Oh, I see. So... I see. He's listening in on their conversation. Okay, that's what I love about you. What the heck is this? I spy a ladybug. A ladybug? I just hate little bugs. Can't hear very well. Uh-oh. So we need to stop her doing that. 
we can. Right? That's how we avoid this death. Also, who did he speak to? Wow, the van driver was a, uh, a detective. It looks like it. I noticed something, though. That conversation he was listening to just before the crash. I remember hearing it before. You're right. We just heard about it a few about it a few minutes ago, didn't we? Just after that conversation, the detective suddenly passed out. What happened, I wonder? We already know the answer. We saw what happened at the restaurant. I don't need this flashback. I'm clever. I'm a clever boy. She burned up the ladybug. Sometimes when a high-tech bug like that is destroyed, it emits a loud signal. Loud enough to knock a person out if they were listening to it through headphones. Hmm, so that's why the detective passed out, huh? Bingo! Now let's stop it from happening! Gonna go back in time! Okay, so... Trick time! Okay. Let's put this in. Hey, this place. This is the place that a uh, white-suited inspector found tonight. It's the parking lot of the park on the east side of town. It's been years. You know this park. Yeah, I used to play here a lot when I was little. But then one day, I swore I'd never set foot in this park ever again. Whoa, this is some really deep, dark feelings there. I wonder what happened. Hold it! Don't give me that. A ghost doesn't have a foot to set bit. What? It's just a figure of speech. What kind of nitpicker do you think I am? Anyway, whatever. Let's get started. Okay, let's do that. I won't press her about the other thing right now. What happened in the park? So, okay, so... Right, so... Seat lever recliner. <laughs> Does that help me? Do I want to put the siren on? Doesn't look like the detective is going to come. Might as well turn it off, it's pretty loud. Okay, time is passing. So he's going to walk past me. Right, okay. This is what we need to do. I'm guessing. They told us to stay off the radio unless it was an emergency, but I think I better call this in. Call in, I wonder what she did this time. Hmm. What does he mean this time? Mind your own business. I like to do things my way, okay? Inspector Cabanello is pretty protective when it comes to Lynn. He'd want to know. Uh, so I'm the binoculars now, but I really want to get over to this phone call. So how am I going to do that? Oh, here we are. No. So the binoculars are here now. How do we get over there? Ah. What's the matter? Does that do anything? It doesn't like that. Uh, doesn't look like the detective is going to come. Might as well turn it off. It's pretty loud. Uh, okay, so... Who is the detective talking to? Don't keep yelling at me about these things. But they might be talking about something ridiculously important. That's true, but still. It might be the person who really shot you. Now you're just throwing things out there. But in any case, it looks like it's too late to get to the phone now. No, oh, and I think we missed our chance. Did we? How are we going to do that then? What was our chance? Binoculars. Hmm. Let's go from the beginning. Uh, okay. Right, so. Hey, this place. This is the place that we're... Okay, we did this. We did this. We did this. We did it. We did it. We did it. Right, so... How do I skip this? Okay, did it. There we go. Lap. 
Okay, so... I feel like it's got to do with the binoculars, right? Oh, okay, detector, what's she doing at point X? Could it be just a coincidence? We just got an APB on it a little while ago. Something about an extremely important case. Yep. Now what? Should I report this to Inspector Cabanella? Oh, they put out an APB on me. Apparently, they're calling you a fugitive. Ugh. You naughty girl, you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you upset. A girl's heart is a very delicate thing, you know. It's from the girl a giant chicken couldn't even kill. It did kill me. Okay, so... Okay, he chucks those in. Uh... Okay. Oh, hang on. So maybe I do this. Raise. And then... And then what? Do I need to get his attention to it? So if when he walks past, put the siren on. Okay, cool. Let's try that. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We can. We can. We can fucking do it. We can fucking do it. Uh, why did what? Hang on. Right. Okay. We missed our chance. So let's do it again. So I've got to do it as he throws them in. Right. What the? Okay. And now we need to wait until he... Chucks the binoculars in. Right, so maybe first do this. Yes, okay, cool. So now let's try and very quickly. No, just hit it again. Yes. What are these doing here? Yes, now quick, 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 press it. Binoculars. Got it. What's the matter? Oh. Detective Ringe. This is memory. What's the matter? It's not time for your regular report. Listen to this. There's a suspicious couple in the bar upstairs. I'm going to put a ladybug on them. A ladybug? You mean a listening device? Don't do anything to blow our cover. Inspector Cabanella will be furious. But they're doing all kinds of suspicious whispering. You have to find out what they're saying. You can pick up the signal from your van. Check out their conversation for me, would you? Alright, fine. Once you get going on something, I know there's no stopping you. Thanks. Later then. Hold on. Did you uh, see a customer come in just now? A young woman with red hair and red boots? Oh yeah, that restless, uh, suspicious chick. Sure. Suspicious? I mean, come on, as soon as she sat down, she ordered three glasses of water in a row. And she spilled the second glass on the table. Oh, okay, fine. Keep your eye on her too, if you would. You got it, sugar. Oh, whoa, that waitress was an undercover agent. And she apparently uh, thought you was pretty suspicious, too. Oh, yeah, sorry, I was really thirsty, so, you know, haha. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, did you hear what I uh, heard about the listening device? You have to do something about that bug. So should we stay here or follow up on the, uh, on the waitress? Looks like it's time to make a decision. Hmm. 
So we're going to have to... So we're going to have to go back to the kitchen, right? Go there. I mean, if we went, if we stayed there, would we actually be able to do anything? All right, here we are. It's a big one, isn't it? Okay, secret kitchen. Hey, look where we are. Part of the chicken kitchen, eh? Yep, or as most people say, the kitchen. I hope the key to preventing that accident is here somewhere. Otherwise, this is a huge waste of time. Oh, I bet it will be. You know what they say. Where there's smoke and chicken, there's fire. Hmm, now that you mention it, it is pretty smoky in here. Fate change. All right. Scrunch and stretch. Turn on. All right, so can I do anything else? Hmm, what's wrong? I can't seem to raise this switch, it won't budge. Yeah, well, not surprising considering this whole place is sticky with grease. I bet it must be stuck. Yeah, it does feel pretty sticky. But if the switch were already raised, I bet I could manage to lower it. Hmm, okay. What's this say? Hey, look what she's doing. Do you think that could be... Yeah, she's probably planting the ladybug, quote-unquote. Now that I think about it, it's this waitress's meddling that starts the whole chain of events. Hmm, the detective wouldn't have gotten his ears blown out and wouldn't have crashed. In other words, we're witnessing it with our own eyes. The cause of a huge disaster slowly being planted in a chicken. Hey, I just had a good idea. About what to do about the ladybug? No, I was thinking we could... Let her get crushed under the chicken instead of me. I can't tell if you're kidding. At any rate, now we've seen the root cause of the accident. And all we have to do now is think of a way to take care of it. Hmm, okay, so... Chef's hat. Chef's kiss. Rock this. It's smoking here. Ah, she's pushed it up. Okay, cool. Hmm. So we can turn the switch off, but we can't turn it on. Can't do anything with that chef's hat. Okay. Um, okay, so... Oh! Ah, okay. Pedal, operate that pedal, what does that do? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, hang on. What's, what are you saying? Oh, I missed it. What are you doing? Can't you tell? I thought I'd give it a little spin. Oh, I get it. You're trying to get in the way of her planting that ladybug. Get in there. What just seems to be making her all the more determined. I guess this isn't going to work. Hmm, okay, so what do we do then? Uh, let's pause it while I think. So I can't get up. I'm stuck here for now. Okay, so we can get up here. Uh... Okay, let's turn this off, maybe. And then flip it so she's turned around. Time is passing. It's smoking here. Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. I think she's going to take the wrong one. set. Right, so can I actually 
I would like to go with her. Oh, okay, she's gone. There. How about that? The ladybug is still sitting on the table. We did it. Dum bum ba dum bum bum. Did we? <laughs> la la la. Chicken, thou art so beautiful, chicken. <laughs> I took a bite, my heart swelled with pride, and I got goosebumps. <laughs> what the heck is this? I am consumed with the love of consuming you, la la la. It'd be funny if he uh, listened into a different crime. Like the uh, chef was secretly, I don't know, peeing in his chicken. <laughs> First thing I could think of. Well, it looks like uh, you've escaped the fate of being hammered by you, your horrible hen. Yes, but I still haven't escaped the worst darkness of this terrible night. I I shot you, didn't I? There must have been some sort of complicated set of circumstances that made you do it. It's never okay to shoot a person, no matter what the circumstances. I love this woke uh, Queen uh, Lynn. Uh, hey, shouldn't that be my line? But anyway... You were investigating a case, and I was supposed to give you information on that case. Maybe it's time you told me about it. Tell me about the case you're looking into. Yes, I guess I should. But let's go back to the new present first. Hey, sure. Sure. Back in the new present, the delicious aroma of chicken fills the air, but I'm still thinking about Lynn. I wonder if she was still waiting for her chicken to be served. I decided to go see her. See her and ask her the questions that were still consuming me. Trick time. Can we actually get there? Do, 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 do. There we go. You have to do it via phone. Uh, here. Right? Kaplunk. The disastrous accident has been completely erased. Once again, I've saved the red-headed uh, detective from death. Saved Lynn, the criminal who stole my life. One question in particular hangs heavy on my mind. Why did she shoot me? Until I know the answer, I'll never be satisfied. Is it going to be... Something like, um, we find out that I need to be a ghost, so she agrees to shoot me. Something crazy like that. I was fully consenting. Meanwhile, Lynn's appetite is apparently foremost in her mind. A golden brown chicken sits on the table in front of her. Until she eats the whole thing, she's probably never uh, going to be satisfied. Trick time. And I guess we'll find out what Lynn's got to say for herself next time on Borderline Games. Thank you so much for watching this episode of uh, Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. And I will see you next time. Have a good evening. Bye bye.